beautiful zoo animals to come and see. Are you ready? Here we go. Polar bears are independent and usually like to hunt and wander alone. They can grow up to 10 feet tall and weigh as much as 1,000 pounds. Ooh, that's a lot. Elephants are usually peaceful animals known by their enormous, known by their enormous size, large ears, and long nose called a trunk. Yep, and sometimes it's called a proboscis. Zebras are wild horses that live in Africa. They can be recognized by their vivid stripes. Well, zebras aren't horses, but they are related to horses. The male lion proudly displays a beautiful mane and is often called the king of beasts. Lions live in a family group called a pride. Yeah. So if someone says the lion is the king of the jungle, that is actually very misleading because as I clarified before in my big cats video, lions live in savannas and in the Gur forest in India. The rhinoceros lives in herds in Africa. They have large horns on their noses and can weigh up to two tons. Giraffes are the tallest animals in the world. With their long necks, they feed on the leaves high up in the tops of the trees. Yep. Did you know that the giraffe has only one living relative? It is known as the okapi. The kangaroo is a marsupial, or pouched animal. A baby kangaroo is called a joey and spends most of its time in its mother's pouch. Tigers can live in many different climates and are excellent swimmers. Their stripes help to camouflage them in the brush so they can hunt with their prey without being seen. Cool. Sea lions spend their time swimming and eating fish. They make a loud noise that sounds like barking. Toucans have large, colorful beaks they use for feeding on fruit and insects. Although they may look awkward, their beaks are actually very light and strong. Yep, their beaks are not as heavy as they look. Their beaks have air inside them. The spots on a leopard's coat are called rosettes. Even black leopards, called panthers, have subtle spots in their beautiful coats. Pandas will rest during the day and feed at night on bamboo shoots. The hippopotamus will spend his days floating in the water to stay cool. At night, he will come out to feed on grass and plants. Camels with two humps like a dry climate and they drink very little water. They have thick shaggy coats to keep them warm. Oh yes, this type of camel, the one with two humps, it's called a Bactrian camel. The camels with one hump are called dromedary camels. Pretty cool, huh? Walruses live in the icy region near the North Pole. They use their large tusks to scrape food from the ocean floor. Look for other titles in this series. Friendly farm animals, furry wild animals, incredible dinosaurs. The end. What were your favorite animals in this book? Let me know in the comments below. See you later. Bye.